Okay, we're solving now um, a loci problem of dividing um, loci of arcs dividing two complex numbers. So arcs for z, the first complex number is z plus one, the second complex number is z minus one. And the answer for the division is pi over two. Now the first thing is you're gonna use um, the given information that it's args for the division can be changed into subtractions so z plus one and minus args for z uh, plus one uh, minus args for z minus one equal pi over two and now we know the args for any con any complex number it's equal a theta which is an angle so for the first one we will call it theta one and for the second one we will call it theta two and it's equal pi over two now we're going to take 10 to both sides, um, that will help us to use the identities, so that will give me 10 to the first side and 10 for the second side. Now using the 10 identities that's from the trig sections, uh, we've, we have it as the first, this side here, we write it as 1, um, the 10 identity, so it's 10, just reviving it, theta 1 minus 10, theta 2 over 1 minus 10, theta 1 times 10, theta 2. And that's giving me 10 pi over 2. Now, if you uh, take the value, if you try to find the value of 10 pi over 2, that will give you an infinity. So that's why this one here is equal to infinity. What does that mean? I mean when you get an infinity, that you, the only way you get an infinity in maths is you divide by 0. So that will conclude it. it's 1 minus 10, that denominator, times 10 theta 2 must equal to 0 to reach that infinity answer. Now, um, now using Pythagoras, uh, so using the a trig ratio, so we have that's our real, that's our imaginary. Now, drawing that one here, so you will got those, that's the real, so you've got um, z, x, y, so somewhere here. So this would be your theta, 1 for example, and then that means 10, that's your opposite, that's your adjacent, so that's mean 10 to theta it's equal opposite over adjacent, which is means that you will have the imaginary part equal the real part. Now, as we know that theta is always is the directions anti-clockwise from the real axis, positive real axis. Now we'll go back into our solutions equation here. So we will have one minus. Now 10 theta 1, so we're talking about um, the first complex number, which is z, which is z plus 1, and that will means imaginary number is, you can write, so either z plus 1, you can write it as x plus 1 plus yi, giving that z is x plus yi, as we said, it's a general complex number, and the next one is z minus 1, you write it as x minus 1 plus y i. Now we'll substitute that in here. So we will have the first one is imaginary over real, so it's y over x plus 1. Now the next one will be y over z minus 1. And that's give me 0. Now just times, so you'll have 1 minus y square over 
oh sorry the vets x minus one made a mistake in here so that will give me x square minus one equal zero now um, just taking the one to the other side so you will have one equal y square over x square minus one cross multiply that will give me x square minus one equal y square rearrange you will have x square plus y square equal one which is a circle so the loci for this expression here is the circle now how to draw that circle remember we are bounded by having pi over 2 as um, so the the difference between the two vertex at any point on the circumference of the circle must be pi over 2 now you've got that circle so the circle now if I mark this one here so that's your first the denominator which is z plus one so we've got the first so that's negative one so that's your first point and then your second or the denominator the denominator is one so that's the numerator that's the denominator that's the numerator the complex number in the numerator and that's the complex number in the denominator now because you want a radius of one because the square root of one is just one so that's mean Either yours goes to minus i here, oh, it's not responding, or goes to i over here. Okay, now because we have it, we always go from the numerator to the denominator anti clockwise all the time that's why our locus is that semi circle that goes from sorry that should pass through the minus i okay and that's the so the locus is the semicircle goes from the numerator to the denominator okay and obviously your vertex not part of it and that's why it's into circle. Thank you for listening.